Hey, it's Lace, and I'm going to show you how to defeat the Night Hunter in Portal Knights on Xbox One. He is located in Witchwater, and he is a level 17 optional mini boss. You do not need to defeat him to progress in the game, but he does drop rewards that are only available by killing him, and there's also a quest to beat him called The Hunter Becomes the Hunted. I'm playing as a ranger, so I'll be using range for this fight. And so if I'm using range, he's going to use range in return. If you're using melee, he'll use melee in return. So he has this crossbow, he'll fire, and you can easily dodge those attacks. And then he has a area effect ball that he fires into the air and drops in the ground, and you'll want to get out of that area to avoid taking a lot of damage. And then when he returns to his crossbow attacks, just dodge them again, and wait for his second uh, area of attack drop once more. After that, he'll summon snappers to the fight, which are little bone dog-like creatures. <laughs> and uh, you'll want to unlock your camera so you can quickly take them out and keep moving around so you don't get hit by his crossbow shots during this time. And once you finish fighting the snappers, get an eye back on the boss and uh, make sure you can dodge his incoming attacks once again. So this process is pretty much going to just repeat throughout the battle as long as you stay away from him in a ranged position. It's usually two to three crossbow shots followed by the area of attack effect and then two or three crossbow shots, area of attack effect, and then snappers. Sometimes you only get one phase of the crossbow shots before the snapper spawns, so you just want to be ready and have an area you can actually dodge and roll around on. He does spawn randomly on the island, and uh, you'll notice if you die and come back, he might be in a different location, so if you don't like where he's located and want, don't want to fight him there, you can kill yourself or you can leave and come back and he might be in a different place. So that's something to keep in mind if you get an area that's like really tiny or it's just too hard to fight him in a certain spot. There's like a lot of hills and stuff or holes that you fall in. Uh, you could also build over those with blocks so that you have a flat arena if you wanted to make yourself an arena. But as soon as you get within distance of him he will start the fight so keep that in mind too. There we go. We have completed our task and uh, received the Night Hunter trophy and some iron clutches. He drops random items, so be sure to fight him multiple times to get different things. Thank you for watching, and please like this video and subscribe to see more. And you can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Love Food Flint. Thanks for watching.